thank you that it has got free flow from me unto them. Jesus speak, Jesus speak, Jesus speak. Your children are listening. Your children are listening. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the flow of power. Flow of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Want into the heart of men unhindered. In Christ Jesus mighty name that we pray. Amen. I want us to go deeper from where we stopped. It's our month of experiencing mercy. And so far we thank God. Hallelujah. Are you aware on Wednesday we recorded the miracle by the grace of God and mercy of God? Of the meme speaking? Yes, you pick your mugoma coffee. What is the meme in Swahili? What is meme in Swahili? Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor the first miracle of Abubu speaking in CCSM happened on Wednesday. Come on, celebrate the Lord. Don't be mean. Glorify the name of Jesus. For 17 years. Amen. That is how we were taught 17 years. But we thank God. Now he's in a level of a child who is learning how to talk. Glory to God. But thank God the tongue can move. He can pronounce words that he couldn't for 17 years. Jesus is the Lord. Tell your neighbor Jesus is the Lord. And many more miracles are happening every day in the name of Jesus. Kwachina kula Yesu Christu. As if you were Yesu. What I'm about to speak to us, I know the Lord will bless you. It will awaken you to a certain dimension of the Spirit. Hallelujah. For he says to Moses. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but of God that shows mercy. We stop at that. Amen. He says to Moses, I God the Father, I will show mercy to whoever I choose to show mercy. Praise the Lord. And on Sunday, as I was introducing us to this teaching, I told you, you are the one that the Lord has chosen to show mercy. Hallelujah. I took time to explain to us why and I say it's because we are the elect of God. That he predestinated us to be called. Or to be transformed to look like his son Jesus Christ. He says those that he predestinated also he did what? He, he called them. Praise the Lord. And those that he called... He did what? He justified. And those that he justified, he glorified them. I wish I have time to handle this today, but we have the whole month. Praise God. Say, thank you, Father, thank you, Father. for choosing, for choosing. To, show me to show me mercy. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Give us Malachi, not Malachi, Mika, the last chapter, verse 18. 
can we read together? Who, who is God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passes by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy. Next. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. You will subdue our iniquities, and thou will cast all their sins into the depth of the sea. Next. Thou will perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast shown unto our fathers from the days of old. Uh huh. We should have started from 17. I'm looking for something. Yeah. Can we read? They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God and shall fear him because of thee. A time comes when the enemies must behave like that. Amen. 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 You are not saying amen. Amen. Now, when you are saying amen, you are saying amen. You are Unaweza usifiwe? Are we here? Ukiomba maombi na gonga siring unasikia yeni. Now the table table satani. Amen. Unaweza usifiwe? You don't want yet to accept it. No, accept it now. Amen. 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 And that is because of mercy. I'm about to introduce us to something in the name of Jesus that I believe it will lift you for a few minutes we have. Verse 18 says now, give us from Amplified Priest. Who is God like you who forgives iniquity and passes over the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? Not over every person's transgression. Hallelujah. Only for the erect. Are you understanding this? Yes. Only for the erect. For the born again man like you and I. The Bible says he will pass over our transgression. Amen. 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 Are we here? That is why some of you today, did you worship the Lord? Did you worship the Lord? Yes. Did you worship the Lord? Yes. Did he accept your worship? And this week maybe you did something somewhere. Amen. Bosa alikuja kwa job huko umemaliza kazi ukaona utafuta ukandanganya kidogo. Si unajijua? Praise the Lord. Ukandanganya. Why are you why are you sleeping out spring for the company? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Na sasa yule kwa umeshika kweli kweli. Amen. But still, you lift and your hands and you use the same mouth that lied. And the Bible says, liars shall go to, to hell. But here comes this liar here. The Lord is healing his worship. Come on. Come on. Through the law. Because he will pass the transgression of his remnants. You see now how you are not accepting it? Praise the Lord. You see, someone, sometimes, you see, as we grow with the Lord, you no, know, I realize the more you grow, the humbler you become. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have you ever seen these kind of believers? Amen. Even when they are talking, they want to lie to, to look good. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Already anachukua mandawa ziko kwa nyumba lakini anasema I have never ever had any pain in my body. Na jamaa mandawa tukimtembelea tu kwa nyumba hivi tunapata katoni ya mandawa. Praise the Lord. But anataka ku prove to the church and everyone listening to him the word of God is working in me. Let me tell you something. Those that the word is working in they don't want to prove it works. They just live simple. You understand what I'm saying? Those that the word is working they don't try to paint anything. They leave it. Hallelujah. You know, accepting you are taking medicine, it doesn't mean you are weakened. 
It's a fact you are taking medicine. But it's the truth you are healed. You understanding that? It's a fact. Umendungwa shindano ukumbiri ukumbiri na pane. It's a fact. Praise God. But it's the truth you are healed. It's a fact you feel pain. But the truth is you'll never be sick. Uh, 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 are you here now? Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says, none in Zion shall say, I am sick. Meaning in Zion we don't get sick. Even if my body is paining, it is not me, it's my body. So my body cannot make me confess I am sick and I know I'm not sick. Which doctor can recognize my spirit? Talk to me, somebody. Which is that doctor? They can't. And they lie to you, you are sick. And you have never been sick. Unless when you are sick in sin. But when Jesus delivered you, you got healed forever. So don't let them lie to you, you are sick. Akikuambia tunaona kichwa yako iko na shinda, hiyo unaweza wasikiza kidogo ati kichwa. Hii kichwa yako kuna venye kuna venye tunaona iko na kakitu hapa unaambia oh ako ako nitashughulikia kwa jina la Yesu. Lakini wakikuambia uko na shinda Tunaona uko na shinda. Ati wewe uko na shinda na unasema yes daktari. Ai. Atana na yeye ongea maalizo wewe tu ulienda hospitali ulijipeleka utapigana na yeye. Si ndio ulijipeleka? <laughs> so utapigana. Sasa wewe nyamasa akwambie akwambie umwambie nimesikia. Because everything he told you is a fact. Kama uko na growth uko na growth. Your body has that. Kama ameona growth kwa mkono is a fact. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Kama ameona virus in your stomach or a bacteria, it's a fact. Sawa? Lakini unatoka sasa na unaenda. Unasema my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Thank, thank you doctor. You have told me what is in my body. Now let me tell that thing which is in my body. It should not be in this body. This body is the Holy Ghost that stays here. Hallelujah. You understand that? That is how we live this thing. Now, getting back to what I was saying, through the name of Jesus. Why, how comes the Lord to pass the transgression of fractures of his remnant? Because now that transgression, it is attached to the tent. Are you understanding this? The transgression is to the tent. The mercy is in the treasure. The mercy is sent to the treasure. For example, you see this uh, bottle here? This is a bottle of water. Can you see here? Is, can, we talk, can we say it is the water of bottle? Can we say it is the water of bottle? Is the bottle of? Water is in and it is making it a bottle of water. If it is sonder here, we would have said a bottle of. So what is defining this bottle? The content. Praise the Lord. Come on, what is defining this? What defines you? The content is righteous. The content is righteous. Now, the body might have interacted with sin. Then the Lord says, because of my mercy in the inner man, I close my eyes over that one. My son, seek me and I will be found of you. Talk to me and I will answer you. Praise the Lord. If I take this bottle and roll it like that, praise God. Can I take that water? Are you concentrating? Praise the Lord. What I'm about to tell you, please concentrate so that I get there. To kienda ujaski itakuwa sala leo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Are we a children of God? Can I take this water? Can I? But I roll the bottle. Look at it. I'm even kicking it. You see? Can I still take the water? Are you sure it will not affect my stomach? Why? The content is not patched. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what the master of God has done to our spirits. Understanding that? Praise the Lord. The mercy of God has worked on our spirit. And that is why the Bible says, draw to come to his throne with what? Boldness. Hallelujah. Because when you just get to the throne, and I showed us how we operate from the throne the other two weeks ago. When you operate from the child of God, listen, what begins to happen in you, it is the mercies of God and phones the righteousness of God in you. Hallelujah. It is the mercy of God that will say she is still righteous. Hallelujah. Are we here? Wanakuja kupanishi, wanasema that one, no. Righteous, I elected her. I saved her. I died for her. Are you understanding that? Psalms 25, verse 7. And we read, Remember not the sins, the lapses, of my youth, all my transgression. According to your mercy and sin first love, remember me for your goodness sake, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Again, the man of God is showing something here. When everything else fails in life, when your worship fails, when your offering fails, when your sacrifice fails, when your tithe fails, are you understanding me? When every principle fails, everything that you did because always you know other thing you are part of it you are part of worship talk to me who was worshiping you are worshiping the lord used you your mouth your spirit who was giving who gave the sacrifice hallelujah who fasted am i am i talking to you who gave to charity who built the church so all these things you are part of it listen but now when all these things fails hallelujah when your prayer fails when your worship fails in case all that fails you we have one escape route the mercy of god hallelujah when you may fail to observe the word and you may wish to observe the word See what at a mini, praise God. Could I tell me in a Ficango Najipata or in Dulisha? Mess. Amen. Mimi, especially Unapata, there is something that is happening. Praise the Lord. But at least with time, we learn. With time, we learn. Now we're going to go, ay, I want me move on in animaliza. Then Unakumbuka, no, no, a was in Maliza. But you know, Praise the Lord. So it means you have failed to observe the word. And the consequences should come. <laughs> you understand that? Because the Bible says you shall observe to do. And you shall make your way prosperous. And you shall have good. So if you fail to observe to do, it means what will happen? Your way will not be prosperous. You will not have good success. Yes, Things will be tough. Yes. So at that level, what can save you? Mercy. I don't know whether you are understanding what I am saying. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. At that level, what will save you? God's mercy. And that is why the man of God is saying, Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgression according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for thy goodness sake. Why is, he go, why is God remembering for his goodness sake? Not for my... I said... Hello? One is what's the Unazakuwa unajuanga when perfect tither. Glory to God. Na yo si kutulianda tao ni kakulipia fair. Si ulikula yo fair yako. Uli tithe. Si weni perfect tither. Hallelujah. Ulikuwa na cleaving ya chipo. Na ukasema leo nitakula chipo. Ukapata na Pastor Fronesi saka kununulia chipo ya mia. Na uliko ununue ya mia. Ulitaithi yo mia. Si we ni perfect tither. You are saying my tithe must speak for my finances. 
The Bible says, if you transgress in one you have transgressed, at that time only mercy will speak for you. You understand what I'm saying? It's only the mercy of God who will speak for you. That doesn't mean now you become a carest either also. The sin that is done intentionally is a very bad sin. Hallelujah. Intentional sin punishes people. Hallelujah. Look at how you are looking at me. You say now you are you are driving. You are now changing the topic. I'm not changing the topic. <laughs> I'm still speaking about mercy. Will you come? Anybody who is daring to see whether intentional sin can be punished? Lift your hand up there. We want to try. Lift your hand up there. Say mercy. Hey, mercy. Yeah. Mercy. Mercy. We will see one part of this side and you the other side. Intentional sin punishes men. You don't sin intentionally to wait to ask for mercy. Are you understanding me? Hallelujah. That is why some people have been saying mercy and nothing is changing. Because they keep doing it in, intentionally. Intentionally, Pastor. Intentionally. Mtu anamka, wanaiswa sifiwe. For example, wanajua nimepata, nimeenda leo, nime freelance, freelancers. Amen. Nimepata 10,000. Hallelujah. Ah, unasema ebu, ebu nikule hii, nita freelance kesho. Nita ripa rende, taithia kesho, ya leo, kesho. Unaenda ku freelance kesho. Praise God. Unapata hakuna chakupata. Amen. Una freelance the other day. Kime umana. Unasema si mungu wa meelewa. That is an intentional sin. And it will ruin your finances. Praise the Lord. Don't change yourself from where you are now. Amen. See where God is taking you. Amen. Are we here? In other words, I'm seeing now something like that. It is the mercy of God. But not you go say, I have 50,000. Then you say to yourself, ah, this month I am very, I'm very tight. I will hit, 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 use, use. I will tie the other month. It's the intentional sin. Praise the Lord. Nona kanisa ime nyamaza. Uliza muntu kwa ni unafanyanga intentional sin. Uliza jirani unafanyanga intentional sin. Stop sinning to your money. Stop sinning. Stop, stop sinning to your money. Amen. Celebrate the Lord for that. No more intentional sin. Amen. Amen. O oh, kipata mbao yako toa ndora mbili. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's continue. Now with that understanding then, can we read this one? Oh Lord, I have a hand thy speech and I was afraid. Oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath, remember mercy. Do you know what this means? By the, through the mercy of God, God can revive his workings in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When I saw this, I was glad. Say to somebody, the Lord can revive his working in you. Through his mercy. Hallelujah. Kama kuna functionality ulikuwa na in the spirit na ikafika mali, you are down. Mimbi ulikuwa even una prophesy. Kuna watu, can I say this? Kuna watu hapa, I can sense my spirit. Ungeona vitu. Amen. Ungeona vitu. Hata before chakule ipikuwa kwenu ulikuwa na joni nini tapikuwa na ujauliza mamako. Ulikuwa naenda in that dimension of prophecy. Wanaeswa sifiwe. Amen. Umelala, umeona, umelala, unaona kwa ndoto. Venye fathe atavaa asubui. Mkia mka asubui unampata na yo suit. You are so deep. Hallelujah. But now you are seeing nothing. You understand this? You are seeing nothing. Do you know God can revive you? I send the Lord can revive you. Praise God. And now our church, we are almost all of us here. 
God should help us. I mean, not he should yourself us, we should accept the help. Amen. Not to behave like young people, like young men. Young men are easily taken by pride. When I saw few. Amen. Amen. Do you see how the ministers of, of gospel uh, uh, singers outdo each other? You see them? You see, was the Kamawale Pastor Benin alikuwa na wao? They can't waste time with that. Yeah, Kiansa Kusema holy is because he wants to see the holiness of God. He doesn't care with listening. He doesn't care with seeing him. He doesn't care. All that matters to him is the God he's calling. But some of us, yeah, you kneel. Yeah. And you are kneeling. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 And you are checking when your lipsticks. Uh, no. Praise God. I, I am very serious here. You people don't laugh much. Praise God. The young people. They are more concerned by what people think about them than the God they are seeking. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But now, such a man, hata kama ameamusho na mate imeanguka ikoku. Hata shinda akifanya yi, hata chukua mic. Hallelujah. We ona mate ya, naona mungu. That's the difference. Praise the Lord. Are we a children of God? And that thing, it doesn't just come by inch, it comes by fellowship. Praise the name of the Lord. Unaweza pata hata mtu ako 50 years ama 70 na hizo vitu zinamsumbua. Na unapata kijana ako 16 years na uoke yake na God is so refined that nothing moves him apart from God. Pone so as if you were. Now I'm saying sometimes this is a very bad issue of promoting premature. I mean uh, the people who are not yet mature in the things of God. Pride takes them. Median. You understand that? One of the ways to know you are very premature, very young in the things of the spirit. Ni ukianza kupewa opportunity za kuminister, unanza kujikompea na wengine. Hata leo ni mini rimba vizuri. Praise God. Hata leo mini ndiyo sauti yangu ya maombi likuwa juu ya wengine. Na grow, na grow buwana, na grow. Au grow, unakuwa mjinga. Praise the Lord. Amen. Maybe mepewa hapa. God bless you. Mepewa hapa watu wengi kuombesha kanisa. Kama vya tunafanyanga kesha. Then mtu tu wakiwa hapa wanasikiza huya meombesha aji. Ay! Akienda kwa nyumba yake anajigonga. Leo I was on the top. Oh, the power that flowed when I took the microphone. Hata kama wajaniambia na jua. Child. Child. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Mbaka mtu wakiambiwa ombe ana, ana, ana fine tune tanks. Push the brindos to stop, stop, stop. Rigurung. Pe, 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 pe. Jeli grundra, tiki, 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 of God, so that at the end of the day, it's the best. But the heavens is already weeping. The heaven is already weeping. Like, what is wrong with this one? You will be free. Hallelujah. If it's thanks of fellowship, you are there. If it is warfare that comes and you are dealing with the warfare, you say, Rantaka! Kepada katamana! You don't care whether we, you will hear your cracking voice. You don't care. All you want is what God wants. Honest as if you were. Are we here? You see that? No, you are. You mind more what people say, not what heavens will. Hallelujah. If there is something that the Lord delivered me from is that one. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 When you find me preaching very serious, it's because that is what is coming in me at the moment. 
When you see me preach how I am preaching now, it is what has come to me at the moment. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we here? Yeah. Even if the president came, I cannot change how I am preaching now because this is the signal I am receiving. Yeah. So I propagate it square and clear as it is coming. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Deep men will just see a scripture like this. Oh Lord, I have heard of thy speech. They post. What have you seen, Lord? Amen. Amen. See, are, are you understanding this? Yes, sir. But kuna time, pastor, there are times we were preaching with other scriptures in one sermon. Yes. I'm speaking out of experience. Yes, sir. Being a young man in spirit is too bad. And yes. in Yoshinda, gifts without learning to work with God is too bad. Please write that down. I don't know why I'm saying this now. Hallelujah. Gift without learning yourself to work with God is so bad. Amen. Come 2012. 2012 is the first time I genuinely end a fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Unaona ile genuinely. Ni maintenance. Hizo times ingine ni kwa naombea watu ni jiombe ni ombe vitu. The first time I went somewhere alone to sit down and thank God for the Holy Spirit. It was 2012. Amen. Amen. Na development nilipata between then and now are too many. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because now that is when the Lord started. Amen. You can't do this. You can't do that. Do you Empowering young people in the spirit before their time, pride can kill them. I pray to God you desire to grow in the spirit. I am, that is why sometimes when I thank God for mercy, I cry. If you are still trusting me with the pulpit and I'm preaching the gospel, God is merciful. But God of mercy, God of mercy has kept me to this end. Praise the Lord. Are we a children of God? Mimi sikuizi hata nipate mtu wa kiubiri aje. Nitaketi na nisikize. Watifu anaubiri venye na ubiri. Na na ubiri ingi venye nilikuwa na ubiri jana majusi. Then sasa lea apate signu wamepata ni ya kufanya chenye nafanya. Arafu umjanchi na iyo. Kuisha wewe. Kuisha wewe. Seme alikuwa tuwa na tembea tembea hapo wakipeana story. Lakini kwa hii story a young man is lifted. Kwa hii story a minister is built. Inakatu story. Praise God. Amen. Are we here? Yeah. Knowing what scripture says is important, but knowing who is saying it is more important. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Are we here? It's more important. Hallelujah. Amen. Be humble for whatever reason that God is preparing you for. Is that okay? Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Upata pastor. Come, come, pastor. Those things I'll teach you on, on Sunday. So time is up. Amen. See, this is our pastor in CCSM. Are we here? Amen. Amen. Now, I'm going to join church. 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 I'm going to Tell me that is your name. Trothy. Praise the Lord. It's a way, Trothy. Ebu nishike yi mlango ningie. Praise God. Una jam. Una jam. Nashika mlango. Una ingie. Then una baki ukimiza. Does this man know who I am? Does he know who I am? I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. And he's calling me truth. Anyway, who are you? Go sit down. <laughs> you understand that? Yes, it's only that the Lord has honored you. You understand that? He would have also honored that person. But he chose you. Hello? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is mercy. Tell your neighbor it is mercy. It is mercy. 
So in case somebody treats you unkindly, don't try to use your title and your class to deal with them. Mungu atakuchusha bwana. Unaweza usifiwe. Wewe hata kama amekuando in a bad manner, humble yourself and deal with them from a low level where they are. Praise God. The only time I use my office is when men are offending the gospel. You offend the gospel and I will deal with you from my office. I will sack you. Praise God. You can't mess up with the gospel. You can, you can mess up with me yes, and no problem. You can even slap me and I will forgive you. But when you begin to touch the work of God, you are touching the ape of my eye. I will deal with you. Praise God. You know this anointing I have is not water. Yes. Praise God. Are we here? You can mess up with me, no problem. But touch the gospel. Things will not go well. Hallelujah. Are you understanding this? <laughs> Amen. Nobody should mess with the gospel where you are. Sack them. Pastor, I'm not joking. Even if you are a governor, you can go home. Out of you, may be your sangapi. This anointing is not water. Praise God. Understanding that? Completely. There is a level men are joking with the gospel that you will not accept. And that is why God has given us this mercy. It's for that work. Glory to Jesus. They are to walk in you with humility. It is the mercy of God. And uh, when we learn this, let us use it appropriately. Again, you always end up once a kufuta watu kazi. Give us Matthew 5, verse 1 to 7. Message. Kila mtu wa some yaende ya kifikiria. Can we read? When Jesus saw his ministry drawing huge crowns, he climbed. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Can we read again? When Jesus saw his ministry drawing huge crowns, he climbed a hillside. Those who were apprenticed, uh, apprenticed to him. The committed climbed with him. Who climbed with him? Who climbed with him? Who climbed with him? That is how we know the committed ones. Praise God. They go extra mile. Tell your neighbor they go extra mile. Are we seeing that? A, arriving at the quiet place, he sat down. Next. And thought his climbing companions. This, what he said. Who did he teach? The crying companions, right? The people that committed, like you are. See, you are here today. Amen. Even if I've not taught you deep mysteries of the spirit, you are still here. It means you are the committed one. This is what he's saying to the committed. This is what he's saying to you. Can we read very far? You are blessed. When you are at the end of your rope, with less of you there is more of God and his rule. Can you read again the same scripture? You are blessed. When you are at the end of your rope, with less of you there is more of God and his rule. You see where the blessing is? Where you get to the end of your Can I have a rope? You hear? Shan, come with this rope. Come with this rope. Amen. Now kneel down there. Down the stair. There, there, yeah. You see? Amen. This is the mountain you are climbing. Take the rope. Take the rope. Take the rope. You put a two pole runduko. Indi nafaku kupandisha. Indi nafaku kupandisha. No nafaku panda uku. What are you holding? Yeah. 
the end of the rope it can either be like that or like this imeteresa imeteresa umebakisha ako mkono mmoja ndio inaanga na uko huko chini na ukiatiria unafanya nini naanguka uishe amen na kuna venye utaweza kupanda tena umefika mwisho ambia jirani unafika the end of the rope now the bible says when you get to the end of the rope did you see that our life is in danger god says he likes it that way go think oh, you are waiting for deeper miss fresh god <laughs> hallelujah he says when you are when you are at the end of your rope with less of your of you there is more of god and this rule because at that time what happens you know i have no any other help only god can help me there if you will not help me i am done i will be buried and now god wants you even in your best moment of life remain at the end of the rope as you even when you have money until you have so much money you cannot keep everything in bank are you understanding me honestly as if you watakufuata so unajenga mansion yenye uishingi ni pesa inaishi are you understanding me you have a mansion iko na seven bedrooms chini si juu huko juu ni watu wako kumbe uko na nyingine replica huko chini the money lives there even then remain at the end of the rope. Are you understanding me? Even when you can buy the entire nation alone, remain under the rope. Let Jesus have rule over you. Are you understanding what I'm saying? In your best moment in that marriage, remain. Are you yelling me? When I saw Did you hear what I say? Hiyo time yenye mna natembea na bwana yako ama bibi yako mkiambiana daring sweet monyanya praise god you are, <laughs> it's like you is like you own the whole world you don't care who is walking on the road it is yours even that time end of the rope are you understanding me bwana sosifiwe when you are driving your dream car end of the rope bwana sosifiwe Hello pastor we have gone for a crusade and we cannot number the people unless unless we now ask the satellites to help us we remain at the end of what the rope Are you hearing me every moment of your life let God have the rule any time you take driver's seat you will crash the car let him drive you Did you hear that? Tell your neighbor let Jesus drive you. Imeingia ndani. Ndani kabisa. Then pride will never take you in this life. And every misery that comes by pride will never touch you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Can we see the next one? You are blessed when you feel you have lost what is most dear to you. Only then can you be embraced by the one most dear to you. Ana tena mbenyamaza. Yes. Wait, is he talking about my wife? Is she talking about my career? Is he talking about my job? Yes. That is what he's talking about. Crap. Hallelujah. This will bless you when you understand it. You are blessed when you feel you have lost what is most dear to you. That is the only way it becomes dear to you. Provided you have another thing that is dear to you, you will never be dear to you. God bless you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Remember he the bible says he is teaching the committed ones is he akila mtu Sindio tumeona pale chini This is for the committed men men that means business with the lord jesus Sindio right us bwana Hallelujah 
Uliza jirana you enjoy writer or you mean business with Jesus Christ. This is for you. Hallelujah. Tell somebody until you lose someone who is very dear to you. You will never have him as your dear. What does that mean? It means nothing should take the place of Jesus in your life. Nobody should take the place of Jesus in your life. Anything else is priority number two. It remains the first priority. Hallelujah. Woman, when you find your husband is praying at night, then I'm be a darling, it's time to pray. Hallelujah. Now you are, you, are, you are trying to take the man. Like, until he says the blessed man is see the fuse, you have lost. If you hold your spouse dear than you hold Jesus, you hold your money dear than you hold Jesus, the issue is you will never have him and also what you are holding dear, you may end up losing it. Hallelujah. Are you ready to lose what, you, what is dear to you? To have Jesus? And let me tell you, this is the mystery. He never told them this, but Apostle Paul revealed it later to us. He told us all things are in Christ. All things are in Christ. People, where is Christ? Children of God, where is Christ? So kama umemuatiri, ukachukua Yesu. Na ya kachukua Yesu. Where is your wife? Where is your wife? Tang twister no revelation. Praise God. Hallelujah. I say the last time. Where is Christ? The Bible says you will be embraced by one most dear to you. So, if I let go my wife, for example, I'm letting her go to who? To Christ. And where is Christ? Ah, come on. Where is Christ? Amen. So when is your wife closer to you? In Christ. You got it now. You got it now. You got it now. Praise God. The deeper she goes with Christ, the deeper, the close, closer she comes to you. Are you understanding that? Praise the Lord. The more you reach your wealth to Christ, the closer the wealth comes to you. Because the Bible says all things are of Christ. They are of God, I mean. Praise God. Then Colossians says all things were created by him and for him that he may have preeminence over all things. Praise God. Are you understanding me now? So, if I let Jesus get hold of my wealth, I will be cross with my wealth every day. Out of Kwanga, I see you. And in, in I see you, you are wondering, who is my nanching my towers in Mombasa? And you can't talk. Jesus will make sure you are talking around your tower. You are watching it. Because you left it to him. See that? Hallelujah. What we need at the pay him to Gariako. Every time, na pika sim, ukosawa, ukosawa. You know na itagongo. U mesika sana. Understand that? But if you let go and let Jesus take care of it, it ain't an irundi. Praise the Lord. You are blessed when you feel you have lost. You know when you have lost something, it's like you don't have that thing. But God says that is the blessing because that is when you have it the more. Think about it. Go read the rest. Time is out. All the way to verse 8. It will bless you. And I pray to God you read and understand. Ukisoma tu kienyeji utapita, utaendelea tuna life. Wanesu wasifiwe. Usisome kienyeji, let the Holy Spirit show you. Remember end of the road? End of the rope. That is where mercy begins. End of the rope. I know how to pray. I know how to pray. You, you are not yet at the end of the rope. And that is why you don't pray. Mina umbanga masatano. 
That is why even you don't pray for that minute and you tell us you pray for five hours. Because you are not yet at the end of the rope. Mean you are meant to take. Paka mtumia kuja rasema. Dad. Nonezo vitu uriko na preach. Ndizo nikuwa na meditate jana. Word for word, scripture for scripture. Another person came to my office one day. Yeah. That someone you preached. Someone, scripture for scripture, as you arrange them. I and arrange them that way. But I felt in my spirit is a lie. Only that yeah, the person never had the notebook. I would have told him, let me see. Now you are so deep, let me see. At the end of a notebook. And that is why such people will never grow. They are not yet in the end of their rope. The man in the end of the rope will say, man of God, that word blessed me. It changed me. You understand me? Hallelujah. Go to the end of your rope today in Jesus' name. Amen. I know how to make money. Stop it. He's the one that gives you power to make wealth. To me, provide them that will get to a deal, it must work. Not you. Stop it. It is Jesus that makes it work. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? When I was a few, at me, Nikitaka Mwanaume, Tampata Ivi. That is why you will die having not get gotten married. Look at me. I will have that man. Don't joke with me. You will die single. See that? Yes, sir. Mimi am going to Mimi. Paka kuna wengine going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Don't worry. If someone tells you you are losing the jackpot, such a man, it is difficult to get a woman. They are not at the end of their rope. It is God that gives a mate. It is God. Not money. Money will buy you Jezebel. Understand that? Mighty will get you Delilah. Only God can give you a wife. Only God can give you a woman. After Samson lifted the gate, the Raila followed him. <laughs> I said that this is the kind of man I want now. Praise God. But when God shows up, you are safe. Praise the Lord. Get to the end of your rope. Man, come on. If you are very handsome, don't think it is your face that will get the woman for you. Now you are doing some wonderful haircut. If you let Jesus get one for you, you'll be happy this life. Do you thought your man is getting you a woman? Get to the end of your rope, please. I hope oh, God is speaking to somebody. Let this mercy fight your battle. Let, you, let, let this mercy fight your battle. I didn't say you don't dress well. I didn't say Dave, don't take a good haircut. Take the best, but don't use it to get you a woman. It will get to a woman of sight. Nasikuye nyuta, change your hairstyle. She will leave you for James, who has the same hairstyle. But if Jesus gets you a woman, even when you go to Jordan, because one day you'll go to Jordan, because you may lose some hair in the middle here or somewhere, and now you have to go to Jordan. But even when you go to Jordan, she will stay. Is the Lord helping someone here? Just say. Yon dio maneno sasa. The end of the rope. Me too as a preacher, I must live at the end of the rope. Amen. The moment I start thinking it is the revelation of the one that atina atini mimi mzee wa marev. Kwa ni marev zinatoka wapi? He gives. The praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor get to the end of your rope. In the name of Jesus. 
Is that okay? Is my prayer for myself? Is the prayer pray for all of you? All my beautiful daughters, let Jesus get you husbands. All my handsome sons, let Jesus get you wife. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Oh, my rich people, let Jesus get you to the next level of your riches. Amen. Let Jesus get you to the next level of your wealth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Fellow preachers, pastors in the house, let Jesus work your anointing up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Get to the end of your rope. Let Jesus take you to the next level. Of now praying melodies that can heal the sick. Amen. Not just music we can dance. Believe God for anointing. You pray keyboard like this and angels visit the church. Amen. You can do that. Okay? Is that okay to every one of us? That was the, mass, the sermon on the mount. Praise God. Amen. Celebrate the Lord. Amen.